Flip the pages of my life, every line that I write as I make history. You can see me, you can see me, you can see me. Yeah. Thank you so much for staying with us. We are inside the centerfold, and with me is three time road march champion. No, I did not make a mistake. I think it's 19, <laughs> and 88, 89, 89, and 90. With a hat trick three times in a row. Road march champion, Christopher Tambo Herbert. Welcome to the centerfold. Welcome to Open Book. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. And I'm excited Kedisha. to have you here. More excited than I am? I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> At the peak of your career, yes. you found Jesus. Yes. Oh, or should I phrase it differently? Because I find you kind of hesitant to uh, say, No, because I'm yes. wondering whether I should say that he found me. Mm. Uh, well, you know, uh, I have to go Bible for you. Because mm -hmm. the Bible said that no man could come to Christ except he be drawn. Mm -hmm. And I was abroad studying, and when I had that experience with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And um, that is where the process of transformation and renewal began, began mm -hmm. and it is continuing today. Good. So before we propel, let's backtrack a bit. Yes. Share your experience with us, one of the premier, the top entertainers in Trinidad and Tobago, three time road match champion. Share that experience with us. Well, the thing about it is um, success is good and the benefits from the success could be, become very habitual because you could like it and, and want it. Mm -hmm. But somehow I always felt that uh, that was not the end of it all. I always felt that there was something um, beyond that. Mm -hmm. What that was, I, I did not know. Mm -hmm. However, the experience uh, within that arena was really very good. You had privileges, um, mm -hmm. doors were open onto you. Yeah. You were able to meet people of various uh, levels of um, status. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, um, so it was, it was quite good. Um, lots of favors, lots of favors. And then the traveling was really quite good. Mm -hmm. The monies sure. that you made, you know, mm -hmm. was quite good as well. So mm -hmm. it was a wonderful experience. So you said you were abroad studying and you felt the need for something more. Share the transformation period with us. Okay, well, when I was abroad, um, I, I recognized then that the Lord may have been speaking to me here, mm -hmm. uh, but there was too much noise, mm -hmm. and the environment that I was in was really, uh, had my mind uh, gripped. Mm -hmm. And um, while I was abroad, I, I recognized that the life that I was living was not the life, and I started to detest the life. Mm -hmm. So that is when I began to cry out unto the Lord. Um, at that time, I was attending um, a church called World Gospel Temple. Mm -hmm. Well, Pastor Edwards Keaty is now deceased, a Trinidadian. He was the um, head pastor of that church. And he called for uh, a prayer meeting for one month. Mm -hmm. And I decided, well, I go into that. That is overseas. Yes, in Boston. Mm -hmm. And I did go to the meeting for the month, with the exception of one Sunday, mm -hmm. one weekend rather. And um, on conclusion of that month, the final night, mm -hmm. Or the day prior to the final night, he said, Chris, the Lord said that he's going to fill you with the Spirit. I said, well, what that is, but whatever it is, I want it. So uh, that day at school, every minute I will ask the corporate teacher, um, I want to use the bathroom now. So I tell him, I said, this woman missing, but this young boy bladder a week. But it's just a desire, just going to pray, 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 pray. And uh, the night of the prayer meeting, after it was over, I felt nothing. So I and God arguing, you know, and we holding our hands. Uh, I said, oh God, you and all reject me. I said, this man said. Because you expect him yeah, to feel something. No, not that I know I'm going and feel, you know. Yeah. I said, oh God, this man say, you say, and I believe him. Mm -hmm. And I said, but Father, I had to be a reject. I don't, know, I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. And then in my little argument with the Father, he said to a young man by the name of Tyron, Tyron, you pray. And um, Tyron began praying. And all I remember Tyrone saying was, Lord, lift us up higher. 
And the servant of the Lord said, receive the Spirit of the Lord with a feather touch like that. And I felt this bolt of current condition run through my body and it threw me on the floor. And I was on the floor for quite some time. And after I got up from the floor, I, I, I felt different. I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. But on my way home, I started to tell the Lord, I bought that thing I was talking, I used to do that. Because in, some years ago, I used to sing with Ray Sylvester. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a song called, Hello, Hello, Africa. Hi. And I used to talk all kind of African <laughs> thing in the way that breaks. I said, I used to do that. That ain't you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> So I drive past my home and I went down to a place called Star Market, which is also in Boston. Mm -hmm. And I said, God, you have to prove that is you and not me. And girl, with that, I just start up burst in this, this language then. Mm -hmm. And while I talk in this thing, in my head I think in. And I trying to say what I think in. Mm -hmm. And I can't say it. And I fight him to say what I think in. I fight him. And when I realize, I said, okay, Lord, is you, and I just started a weep. Mm. I just started a weep. So that night I was convinced that it was God, was the experience was real. So you went to Berkeley to study music? Yes. So during this trans transformation, where was your head in terms of, all right, um, I'm a musician? Well, girl, <laughs> I did planning, and I started to write a song concerning Blue Boy, because you know me and Blue Boy was, when, when, right, the, well. when the cat away, the mice will play, right. you know? And that was my plan. I did plan. And I said, well, Chris, now you come back, literate in music, you go burn them. They ain't ready for you. And I had that experience. Mm -hmm. And when I came back and I told them, I said, well, and Jesus, you know what I mean? You went to music school or you went to a Bible seminary, where you really went. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was for, but I get, I get good cussing. Eh? I, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Oh, yes. Did you ever think about going back? I've never had the desire to go back. God is my witness. I've, I've never had the desire. I remember once I was driving through um, Val Saint mm -hmm. and a certain big time guy, so then I had a, I don't have a piece of house there. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, and I cut it. I said, nah. You would never call the uncircumcised when I started to, to pay itself on me. Yeah. When I say the size of the house, I almost. And I said, nah. I killed that all. Because where I was going, because I might have said, well, Lord, yeah. Why I had that and more? What is going on here? Yeah. You know? So that was one time, but I've never, never had the desire mm -hmm. to go back. I'm able to look and don't feel. So I know the Lord has taken that away from me completely, that desire to go back there. I've never had it. There are a lot of artists I know personally mm -hmm. who, you know, they, they're hearing from the Lord. Yes. But because of, you know, the fact that their music is quote unquote their bread and butter, mm -hmm. they are afraid to make the shift. Give advice to to these people. What would you okay, say? Okay, well, to them? The, the challenge is always difficult to tell somebody faith. Mm -hmm. You're going to a new uh, the the church is a new culture. Mm -hmm. It demands a new mindset, a new mm -hmm. mentality. Mm -hmm. But you are accustomed to a particular lifestyle, mm -hmm. particular habits. Mm -hmm. So to really rest that down and put your hand, mm -hmm. and when you realize you have nothing in your hand, really, it will be a challenge because man have to eat, they have to wear clothes, they mm -hmm. have to pay bills. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that artists uh, think about. Mm -hmm. So the challenge is, is that they will have to walk in their ex experience as I walked in mine. Mm -hmm. And I cannot tell somebody, listen, this is what will happen to you because it, it may not. Yeah. But my experience was real. And uh, if, I don't want to say the experience uh, uh, was something as I experienced. The thing is, once the Lord did it, the Lord kept me. Yeah. If I had said of my own self, you see me, I fed up with this thing, I go in, in, I go in, in the church, I might have been different. Mm. But the Lord sustained me through it all because let me tell you something. I used to shake people's hand and when the pull down is at $2 in my hand, you know. And I need it because yeah. starting over is really, yeah. it, it's difficult. So you really have to want it, understand the value mm -hmm. of what you want, but, and then you begin to understand God incrementally. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you come with no understanding at yeah. all, you just come, yes. you yes. know? Um, 10 minutes is really not enough yeah. to, to interview a man like Christopher Tambu Hubert, but we have to wrap up. So how would you like 
Trinidad and Tobago and the world to remember you when you're no longer here? Well, I have one thing. I said, God, I want to be known as a God-fearing man, a man of God. Mm -hmm. And that is my vibe, you know. I have a little knowledge of the scripture. And the Bible says what, what you do for the world that gone is only what you do for the Lord mm -hmm. remains. Mm -hmm. And I want to make a reality statement here. I was talking to a young artist when he comes by me. I said, who is Lord Kitchener? That part a history book, yeah. you understand? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, people elevate you, they lift you, they praise you. By the end of the day, what have you done really when the Father say is only what you do for him abided forever? So the thing is that you have to come to that place and understand this, this Jesus thing is really, you know, this God word is really, you know. Yeah. And you have to decide and walk it now because every one of us uh, has a destination. Yes. And you decide. And what I love about God is that before you reach where you're going, you know where you're going. Indeed. And you have to choose the path that you, you decide to walk on. Indeed. Thank you so much for stopping by and giving us of your time. One love, Khadija. Mm -hmm. I must have you back because I'm feeling like I have so much more questions to ask <laughs> but next time. And I love to talk, you know. Oh God. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back inside the center pool.